Antonio Gramsci, who is this fantastic um, um, theorist um, who, who talks about hegemony, which is um, a, a big word for kind of domination, um, suggests that uh, there is no one way to do to undo hegemony. Um, there's a number of political and social strategies that need to happen. From my perspective though, it is about being aware of what the narrative is about who we are. Um, it is about um, altering that narrative and it's about finding a space to speak a different narrative um, within the same context. A narrative that um, is not being told at this moment by the people who get to speak the loudest, which is our religious leaders and our politicians. Um, so it is a disruption. It's about being conscious. I think Michael Buckner also um, talked about this a little bit when he was when he did this. Um, it's about kind of identifying those narratives and 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 being careful not to allow them to conduct, mm -hmm. to edify, to punish or police us into being the way that, that that people expect us to be. It's about stepping outside the boundaries of that discourse um, consciously in order to disrupt it. But it is also about clearing a space for those of us who speak differently and who speak from a different place to have the kind of, 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 of opportunity to challenge and change the existing discourse around us. I think that is what is important from my perspective. Now other people might say that what we need to do is create a third party or to get out in the street and protest. All of those things are good. It's a, it has to be a multi-pronged strategy. But for me, it's about beginning to alter, change, mutate the current discourse, or erase it completely and, and, and transform it into one that is different than, than what, we are, what we are suffering from now, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, and for me, that new discourse is one that is an inclusive discourse. It is one that is a critical discourse. In other words, we're actually thinking about the problems that we're facing. And it's a discourse of life. And that's something that I think we, we, we miss here at home quite often. We're quick to hang a person, um, or we're also quick to shoot each other in the streets, or we're quick to ignore the fact that the middle of Nassau is a terrible place for many people who are suffering. And so a discourse of life would suggest that the most important thing we can do is preserve life, and, and, and not just preserve it, but to, to, to make sure that it is a life worth living. And so a critical discourse, a, a, an inclusive discourse, and a discourse of life, I think, for me are the three things that I would want to transform the current discourse, which I think is an exclusive discourse. It's a discourse that relies on an ignorance of the people, and it's a, it's a discourse of death constantly. Um, I would want to change that into a discourse of, 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 of life, inclusion, and a critical discourse.